Hey guys, Ozzy Pokemon here, and today I'm doing something different on Showdown. I've never done a Little Cup before, so I decided, you know what, let's just do some Little Cup. Uh, I hopped on my second account and I made this team, uh, basically using some of the best Pokemon Little Cup, and I decided to throw Teddy Ursa on there because Teddy Ursa is so cool, and also his shine is really cool, guys. Just look at it. It's basically, it's basically this cool, like, looks like chewing gum color. It's just so cool. Anyway, uh, let's just get right into this uh, video. Like, Teddy Ursa is so good. I don't know how it's not S tier. Like, it can just go through entire teams. Like, it's absolutely crazy. So let's get right into it. Uh, so here, he leads off with his Cyndaquil, and I lead off with my Diglett, because basically it's guaranteed rocks every time. Uh, he's going to go for his Sunny Day. Not a big deal to me. I can just take him out with the Earthquake. Uh, Execute comes out here. I do have the Sucker Punch, but I do decide to switch, just in case he has, uh, I don't know, some... Uh, some stall set and Sucker Punch doesn't work. Anyway, he brings out his Litten on my Ferroseed as I set up the Spike. I have a lot of Hazards up right now, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, his Flare Blitz actually does a lot because of the Sun to my Marini, but it doesn't really matter because I can uh, recover stall him if I want to. I can knock off as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm burned. It doesn't really matter that much. The knock off is mainly to get rid of the item, not really to do the damage, so uh, it's alright. I can just recover for a bit right now because I need my Marini to be healthy because it walls a lot of his team because he is a Sun team as you can see that Charmander could be a threat. Uh, so yeah, basically he sets up the Sunny Day again, I go for the knockoff, I really want him to go down at this point because uh, I'm kind of sick of this just going knock off over and over again doing 10%. Uh, so I go for the recover here and uh, he brings out his Execute, that thing is actually a threat and uh, he brings out the Charmander now. This is the thing I was scared about because Solar Power is going to really hurt my team. So I switch back into my Marini and he goes for the Fire Punch and for some reason he's physical with Solar Power, I'm not too sure what he's doing there. His Berry Juice activates but that's not really a big deal. Goes for the Thunder Punch and um, yeah, that was I didn't expect Thunder Punch even though, I don't know, I probably should have expected it but I didn't. So I decided to sack Marini right there and I go uh, into my Gummy Bear. He sets up the Belly Drum, not sure why he did that uh, because after the Toxic Orb my Quick Vite's going to activate and I'm going to outspeed his entire team and Gummy Bear just happens to have uh, a field day just destroying his whole team. I do change uh, his nickname in the next battle to Gum because I feel like it just fits him a lot better. You don't need to, you know, explain his whole name. Just put Gum and people get it. Anyway, so uh, the rocks break uh, his Fletchling Scale Wing so he doesn't get priority. And yeah, nothing else on his team can take a, a facade or can outspeed me. So I win the battle right there. Alright, next battle. Uh, it's not a Sun Team this time. He's got a uh, Surskit. For some reason, he doesn't go for Sticky Web. Uh, really not sure why. So I can go for the Rock Slide here and take him out. Crit definitely didn't matter right there. He's not bulky at all. Uh, so he brings out the Amora, and this reveals he is Choice Scarf, which is good information for me, as I can bring in Marini for free right now, and I can get a Toxic Spike off. Um, I'm going to go for the Knock Off here, and reveals he has a Normal Gem. I wasn't too sure at the time what he was going to go for, but... Uh, uh, you know, thinking back on it now, it's obvious that he has Explosion and he's going to boost that Explosion. So, uh, I get my Ferrisid in for free here, getting him to go for the Rock Slide. Stuffing Tantrum really does nothing to me. I go for the Leech Seed just to get some recovery. And um, he's going to explode on me right now. And I believe I go for the Spike. Yep, so I have a lot of Hazards up on the field right now. Um, I have a lot of Hazards. I'm not sure why. Like, both my opponents did not have Defog, so I can just, like, go hand with the Hazards. Anyway, so this... Bonary is actually a threat, like you just see what it does to my team, it's it's crazy, it just does so much damage. Uh, I recover with my Marini, gotta get that damage off. He brings out the Abra, which is a threat, go into my Vullaby, he actually predicts that going for the Dazzling Gleam, it's a really good play on my opponent's part. And um, I don't, I'm not sure what I, I think I U-turn, yep. Okay, so I U-turn out, go into my Mianfu, uh, he actually outspeeds me, which is quite unfortunate, and return, I think he's Choice Bandit, I'm not paying attention if he's locked into moves or not. But I think he might be Choice Band because that just did so much. Maybe I'm just not bulky. See, uh, yeah, according to that, he's probably Choice Banded uh, because he's he's going for return. Not sure why he would do that uh, since he's got the Drain Punch. So I get up another layer of Spike and my hazards are looking really good at the moment. Amora uh, takes so much damage from coming in. Uh, I don't want to sack my uh, Ferrisseed, but he makes a nice prediction going for the Thunderbolt. But I do know he's locked in, so I can take advantage of that. But I do decide to sack Bullaby here. So I can get uh, Teddy Ursa in for free and start setting up the Swords Dance. So out comes Gum. He's at plus two attack uh, with the quick feed ability activating. 
and he can run through this guy's entire team. This Abra is Life Orb, not Focus Sash, so I get to take him out. And Corfish, Corfish isn't going to do anything to my gum because gum is absolutely broken doing that damage. And um, yeah, that's the video, guys. So if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, Little Cup is, is actually pretty funny. You guys want to see more Little Cup, make sure to let me know. Uh, join my Discord. There will be a link in the description like there always is. And make sure to check out my streams. I stream every Friday and Saturday, and I might be streaming more. And daily uploads will be coming soon uh, for a little while. So yeah, be ready for that, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.